Hello everyone, I'm Hillary with Dominion Tea, and today we're going to talk about two chas. So what are two chas? Well, the words actually translate to bird's nest uh, because of the shape. It's a round bowl, hollow center. What gets formed into a two cha? Generally puer. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this modern form of puer. You, of course, with puer, you can get it in both types, right? Shang and shu. So shang puer, as a reminder, this is raw puer. Your shu is a baked puer. So your raw puers are gonna come out lighter in color. They're gonna be a little bit more green and vegetal in flavor. Where your shu puers are baked, they're gonna come out almost coffee colored um, and very earthy, kind of mossy, peaty. Uh, in flavor. So why these? Why did the Chinese make them? Let's talk convenience. What's great about this one little piece is it's single serve, so you're not pulling apart those big pu'er cakes. Um, it's an easy kind of one drop into your strainer and off you go for the day. Now keep in mind just because I said single serve doesn't mean a single steep. You're going to want to re-steep these multiple times. Um, I can usually go five or six. I will also admit to the fact you can go out more, um, but you're gonna get to the point where it's just colored water. Uh, but some of us who are tea drinkers, we're still fine with that too. So a couple of things. Just because they're modern doesn't mean you have to stick to modern devices. You can absolutely use them in a gong fu. Just make sure you measure out your water in here. You're gonna want probably one of those cakes or generally around six to eight grams. Um, so you're going to want your pot of water to be somewhere around mm, four to six ounces, or you're going to want to add another. Um, you can do your steep times in your pots. You're going to want to elongate them a little bit. So don't start with 15 seconds because that's just going to be um, a really almost light cut, barely even colored. You're going to want to go out to about 45 for your first steep on those if you're going to run them in your gong fu. Uh, so this is a great way also if you're new to puer and are kind of a little leery about going after one of the big cakes. These two chas are a wonderful way to test the water. They come also with other flavors. So for instance, our Victorian rose is a raw puer that's been pressed with rose petals. Those rose petals are gonna come through on the finish, kind of lighten up the vegetal nature of it. Same thing with our sticky rice puer, which is on the shoe side. Um, it is scented with a, a special plant out of Yunnan province that smells like sticky rice. So it's not actually sticky rice. Uh, but again, it takes out that peatiness and earthiness and is fun to play with. Uh, so it's always worth the adventure uh, and don't overrule these either if you've been a long time puer cake um, consumer because it's a great convenient way uh, to have it at your desk all day. So enjoy your exploration of puer. We hope you enjoyed learning more about tea with us. Hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified when we add more videos to our channel. And check out the highlighted videos to learn even more about tea. And last but not least, you can check out all of the teas we talk about in our videos at dominiontea.com.